Today I can't believe what a bank has just said. Hello again, it's Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Welcome to this post covering finance and revenues with a distinctively Australian flavour. Sure, I know that housing is not very affordable in Australia. That's of course due to bad policy over a long, long time. But I was astonished when CBA came out with their latest release, spruiking that people should buy together to deal with affordability issues. And I will just make one other point. Their survey was 1,000 households. So it's a very small survey actually relative to my 52,000 households. And to that extent you've got to ask whether in fact it is really statistically relevant. But of course that's a whole other discussion about how big the sample needs to be to be relevant because there are many many surveys rolled out from spruiking organisations around the country based on very very small samples and actually they are completely opaque in terms of the way that they deal with very small sample size. So as well as the underlying message relating to the risks, I also question their underlying methodology. But well, there was new research from Combank that's revealed that a quarter of Australians have considered buying property with a non-traditional partner, including parents, siblings or friends. When asked what was driving that trend, over two thirds said affordability was the main driver, followed by buying a bigger or better property and spreading the financial risk if anything went wrong. CBA's Executive General Manager of Home Buying, Dr Michael Berman, said while rising house prices build equity and help create wealth for incumbent owners. They also pose affordability challenges for first home buyers looking to enter the market and those looking to sell and upgrade. As this trend continues, it's important that lenders support customers with innovative lending solutions that help them get onto the property ladder. They went on to say property share is a little known feature among customers, but with growing challenges around housing affordability, it may be appealing to customers who are looking for new ways to be able to afford a property given the current market conditions. Along with our competitive pricing and new buying hub on the Combank app, property share is another way we are helping customers who are struggling to save for a deposit by enabling them to split the cost of buying a house with friends or family while keeping their finances, ownership and repayment separate. This is in addition to our support for first home buyers through the government's first home buyer schemes, which helps customers buy with a deposit of little as 2%. And the research also looked at what may prevent potential property buyers from purchasing a home with a friend or family member, and the vast majority of respondents said they did harbour concerns about putting the relationship under strain and pressure. Property share gives borrowers the ability to support one another into the same property while providing confidence and protection of separate financial obligations. Other reasons for not wishing to buy property with a non-traditional partner included the complicated process of co-buying and co-owning at 43%, while a further 1 in 10 respondents didn't know it was possible. Unsurprisingly, the rising costs of property and in turn the size of the deposit needed are the two most common barriers to property ownership in Australia. This comes as both property owners and non-owners alike recognise how difficult it is to buy, with nearly 60% of property owners stating it's difficult to buy a property and three quarters, at 78% actually, agreeing it was harder for the current generation to purchase a home, including those over 50, at 73%. Interestingly, they have found that while price is the biggest barrier to entry for potential property buyers, it's also the biggest incentive, with over 60% saying that they're worried about being priced out of the market, or more than one third at 35% say they have a fear of missing out. Australians also feel pressure from friends and family, with 44% of those property buyers who admitted to feeling pressure, saying that the push comes from friends and colleagues who have already bought, and parents and family who want them to buy. 
pressure to buy, combined with rising property prices, has resulted in more than one third of Australians, actually 37%, considering moving into state or to a regional town to buy property in search of more affordable options that, that require less compromise on proximity to work or size of property. And also flexible working arrangement introduced during COVID-19 means many Australians now feel comfortable considering moving into state. According to the data, 45% of those under the age of 40 said working from home was changing how they thought about property. Those in Victoria have seen the biggest impact on their consideration for a home with an outdoor space near nature or in a regional area. But here's the catch. Under the property share scheme that CBA is spruiking, borrowers must be owners of the property and guarantee each other's home loan as security. Customers retain complete control of their finances, so each borrower has the flexibility to structure their home loan to suit their individual needs by choosing the loan amount, loan type, loan term, and repayment structure. But you are absolutely cross-linked at the hip. And of course, consider the risks ahead, because this is not just a short-term commitment, it's probably going to be a number of years, maybe even longer than that. So this, I think, is another example of a bank pushing the boat too far. And I do agree that housing affordability is a big issue. But of course, tackling it by making cross leverage between different generations or different types of people is not solving the fundamental problem at all. In fact, it's just creating more risk. So my perspective is this. If you really want to get into bed and buy a property with somebody else that you're not directly necessarily related to, then do your due diligence and make quite sure you understand what may happen. For example, if down the track one of the parties decided to get married or lost their job. Because you do ultimately take on the entire risk of the total mortgage and I don't think that is clear enough, frankly, in what the CBA said. I'm Martin North from Digital Finance Analytics. Many thanks for watching and I'll see you again next time.